Hey, what's going on? Are you done yet? 55% <laughs> done, basically. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? So oh, Jesus. Hang on, hang on a second. Hang on. We're about to f*** this all up. We? I'm about to f*** this all up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to call you back. Why is it doing this? Again. All right, ready for first start? Yeah, I look for fuel leaks. We got one side done. Back here, he's in this one. Good luck, have patience. So, when you go to put all this back together, if you're gonna remove your cams, cam cap bolts, buy brand new ones. They are a torque to yield, and you don't wanna do that. And do it the right way. Exhaust, so we're going this way. Front of it, intake, front, exhaust. I'm gonna keep them in order. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. When we put this back together, I brought my Ford manual so we can do it by the book, you know. Ooh, this one came out good. It's acceptable, yeah. It's, I think we're still good. All right, now I'm gonna get all this off. The exhaust. Come back up. Oh, oh. That's it. That's it. That would be it. Here's that for you. Look at that. We're also on our second box of springs, finally. Where's your uh, the thing? It's in the oil pan. Oh. <laughs> All right. It's in the oil pan. Oh my God. When you guys do this and use this tool, you do not want to touch, just like just I about did, you have to guide, manipulate the spring a little bit. Do not want to touch and push down on this valve whatsoever. Move this thing around till it makes sense. There we go. That's good. No, it's not. Damn. Ah, my head. Pretty. All right, behind you. These things are dusty like crazy. You'd think they'd been sitting on a shelf for like 10 years. Oh look, it's a horse. Hey, what's going on? Are you done yet? <laughs> no. We're waiting for you to come join us. <laughs> You don't want to come join the party? 55% done, basically. <laughs> Are you going to be done today? Nah. I rode the bike up here, so it's going to start running, so I'm going to have to head back here in a few minutes. See what I'm talking about? So oh, Jesus. Hang on, hang on a second. Hang on. We're about to f*** this all up. We? I'm about to f*** <laughs> this all up. I'm going to have to call you back. i got to concentrate. All right. Okay. Why is it doing this? Again. I'm over here going too bad. It's, yeah, it's I'm off. Way off. If you come over here and look where I am. Well, what I'm judging by is I see the tip coming through. So I'm thinking if it hasn't hit yet. The tip's coming through. It's just that, yeah, it's going now. It just, just freaks me out. We, we almost. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've dropped the one or twice already. So yeah, it freaked me out. See where it gets, starts to, to get tough. Oh, the one in the back there really had me nervous. But I can't see a lot of light on the top corner here. All right, well, yeah, I can start to see. Yeah, keep going. All right, yeah, that's looking good. I'm holding the hell out of this thing though. Very, very slow, tedious surgical process. Can you hand me something, <laughs> that uh, large pick? There we go, look at that. Just turn, just gently, and it yeah. fell off. Just it fell off. That's what I was saying. Son of a, oh, my back is killing me. Gravity side. This is a real pain in the butt though. Tedious. tedious. Yeah, there we go. Turn, baby, turn, baby, turn, baby. You might want to try backing it up just to Hang on, hang on, I got it, I got it. Gotcha. Where's the other one? Is it in the oil pan again? It's in the oil pan. Oh, sh that was a serious question. Where is the other one? Is it on the magnet still? Nope. Oh, crap. Where the hell is it? Probably in the oil pan. <sighs> what the hell? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, oh my gosh, no it was just under the screw. It it's it's so it. small, yeah. If you lose one, it's like, where did it go? Is it, is it in the engine? These little boogers. Bam. Perfect. Now all we do is come back up very slowly so that it catches in the retainer. And we are home free. Look at that. There. Cylinder four is halfway done. Oh, my back. Break time. <laughs> 
person I've ever actually got to do that with. What's up? Uh -huh. I recognize your car outside. Well, what are you guys up to? Oh, uh, I just told him give him a little gift. So. Oh, okay. Something for the R? This thing's getting some sauce treatment today. Could have been, yeah, I woke up at like 6 a.m. Yeah. And then I was watching TV and I closed my eyes and then I woke up and it was like one in, you know, one in the afternoon. It's <laughs> like, oh my gosh. I watched uh, CJ Pony's videos. Yeah, yeah. Then it went to your videos. I woke up at 12.43 in my recliner. Your voice is going through both ears. And <laughs> I woke up and I go, Xander in here, <laughs> and I go, wait. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a scary thing, yeah. I was seeing TV on, I see what time was, I said, I gotta go to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two hours later. Uh, huh. it's gonna be hard. Yeah, it's gonna be a little difficult. You might have to go down to like the floor. Okay. <laughs> this is so much easier, like with a cup. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Give it a little, uh, about five minutes, I believe. Uh, don't even take that long. Yeah, we were still a little low, but I mean, we can do the math on that. <laughs> I know. It smells like good stuff. It smells strong. This is about to be our first start on Yes E85. We have, uh, what's up? That would be good. Yeah, we'll just let it sit for a couple of minutes. So we're, we're testing our E85, guys. Speedway so has always been really Speedway good. has always been it's good to me. Yeah. We were a little low, and it's a little Yeah, we're. Five, so it's. It's We're kind of past that winter blend crap, so we skipped the last week. It feels like I've, it's been like forever since I filmed a video, but um, since then we have done this uh, lethal pro lethal lethal. Since <laughs> I told, I'm telling you, I haven't done a video in forever. I forgot how to do this. We have uh, got valve springs in the car. If you guys missed the last video, please go check it out above. Uh, definitely worth the watch. It was fun, awesome time. But I believe that you guys have probably seen this car ripped a, uh, apart enough on this channel <laughs> so that's why we didn't film any of it <laughs> so anyway we put it all back together valve springs are in there and we have a lethal performance return fuel system now and uh i really love it i love the way that it hooked up everything is, is gucci it's great xander 13 lethal performance if you want to save some money on this return style fuel system but we have dual regulators so yeah let me pour the rest of this yeah might as well gonna go in the car regardless we're gonna be past e70 so yeah oh it smells it this stuff smells very very good you're saying it's over 80 right now and we're low on the uh, ethanol content yeah we're good yeah all right yeah lots of it you feel it no I didn't spill any of this. The other uh, bucket got all over me. Smell like 93 octane and E85 and oil and coolant. All right, we got to get the new tune onto the SD card. Is it still a little thirsty? A little bit. All right, guys, right here. This is that new, that new hotness. The one and the only, the old Rob Shoemaker. It's funny how he calls this a 1,000 horsepower. Get in there. This is going to take six minutes. First E85 start coming up. There it is, E85. Flash. We are off to the races, guys. Six minutes. Here we go. All right. She's loading up. Yeah, it is starting to get a little cold. You got your uh, what's up? Your pitch pulled up with your short-term field trims and all that, where you can see it. Yeah, we can take a look while because I'm gonna get some logs idle, mm -hmm. all that. So, but you can look at your long-term and short-term field trims and see if, if something's off. Right. Yeah, it's just about. This thing is just scooting along. It's a fast six minutes. That's about there. I am so ready for E85. Get off this 93 crap. <laughs> I know you're excited about it. The glory too is that, you know, we have more power at a lower boost level. It's just an all around safer fuel. All right, ready for first start? Light? Yeah, look for fuel leaks. Woo! Fly right up. About 50. What's it over there? High over here. Remember, we were having trouble getting. The yeah, stuff. they were dancing over there a little bit yesterday. Fifty on the money over here. We'll probably have to pull that hose and and, and uh. Okay. Reset it a little. Okay. Yeah, they think it's good over there. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, 
That's why I said all this stuff double check with Rob. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I cannot get that pressure to drop below that. Really? Yeah, that cap over there is not going to matter. The only thing I'm wondering is because we have to set base pressure with no vacuum line. Yeah. I wonder if we have to set this one with that vacuum line hooked up. Because, like, for example, hook that vacuum line up real quick. Yeah. Look, now we're at 58. Yeah, but we set this one with, with no vacuum. Oh, it died. Yeah. Uh. We set this one with no vacuum to 50. When you plug this line back in, this one actually is it. So, we kind of need clarification on... Oh, so when this is plugged in, that one's on 58? Yeah. Okay, I wouldn't... That's what I'm trying to say. Like, we need clarification on... I can get a hold of, uh... This one... I can see set. if he's still awake. See, this is my first time doing direct injection. Well, I'm used to one regulator. No, that's, that's why oh, I, I don't know what they want. But I know on a single setup, you always take the line off and do with base pressure with no vacuum. Yes. And that's where, we setting, that's where we're setting the 50, and that's exactly where we're at. Right. We're at 50 with no vacuum sort. If that vacuum line is unhooked, then we're over 60 PSI. Uh -huh. If it is hooked up, then we're right on the mark. We're right at 58. Yeah. Do we set this to 58 with that line hooked up or without it? Because to be honest with you, we can't get it to 58. No. With that line hooked that's as low as it'll go. Thank mm -hmm. you.